honor to be here with you. I'm having the best day of my life, as is every day. It is definitely a beautiful day. The sun is shining out there. I don't know if it's going to be shining all day today or not. I haven't looked at the weather forecast. All I know is that it's always shining in here. Oh, my bears aren't here. Give me a moment. There we go. That's a little better than the back. They don't, they get really upset with me if I don't have them on the call in the morning. <laughs> Got to include the bears. They like to be here and they're, they're at attention this morning. Looks like the cats left them alone overnight. It's kind of a nice change. <laughs> ah, it's because Butler was in the basement, right? Little bugger. He's a funny little cat. He surely is. Yeah, wait till Kiki gets here. Yeah. So how are we all doing today? Are you having a phenomenal day? Today is Funny Friday. I found this quote from Lily Tomlin. I always wanted to be somebody, but now I realize I should have been more specific. I don't know. Doesn't that fit in with everything we talk about here, that we have dreams and we have goals, and you know what? We really have to picture those dreams clearly. We have to know exactly what we want, right? Yes? Hello? <laughs> We have been reading, studying, practicing, TNT, the power within you, how to release the forces inside you to get what you want. And it's been interesting because although this book was written in 1954, the year that Don and I were born, the message is relevant today. And it is the same message that we hear in Ask and It Is Given. It's the same message we hear everywhere. Oh, Matt. Maggie, did you get us? Do you have sound now? Sometimes you have to actually close the browser and reload it. Hopefully you have sound. So what are you thinking about today, wishing for? Do you have a clear picture of it? Clear. It's got to be clear. And you have to have feeling about it. Good feeling. And the best thing is that when we recognize thoughts that are taking us in a direction away from our goals, we can stop at any moment and do them again. Right? Hey, she's got sound. Yay. So how are we doing with all this feel good, imagine, picture, stuff? How are we all doing with it? Is it getting a little easier? Are you starting to buy into it? Because that's the magic that happens is you have to buy into it, right? You have to believe it. A belief is a thought you keep thinking. So if you keep thinking a new thought, you'll start to believe it. And you really have to work on that. You have to work on attaching your feelings to what you want. You have to attach your feelings to that picture of what you want. It has to be exciting. It has to make you want to sing. It has to make you want to tell your story out loud. It's June 14, 2015, and we have $100,563.29 in our bank account. We are debt-free and looking to purchase our home. The money will come from various sources as we focus on building our contact list builder funnel and mentoring our members to do the same. I believe we will have this money in our possession and my faith is so strong that I can see this money before my eyes and I can touch it with my hands. It's now awaiting transfer to me. I am awaiting my plan and I will execute my plan as it comes to me. I got to tell you guys, the more I read that, the better it feels. It just feels so good. It gets me so excited. How many of you are doing this every day? I know we, we practiced this last week. We started writing stories. Did you do it? It took me a lot of years to finally sit down and do that. All right. Think and grow rich. Seriously, guys, if things aren't going the way you want them to go, this is this is what's missing. Having your story, reading it out loud, and actually believing that it's true. Yes? And what happens is we start out doing it, and then we stop. For some reason, we get busy, we forget whatever happens, and whatever happens. Yeah, getting used to that awesome feeling when you say it out loud, isn't that nice? And you just grab that feeling, and you think, there you go, I'm just going to go with that today. We're on page 82, chapter 6, How Pipe Dreams can become realities. There's an oft-repeated phrase with which you must be familiar. It's, I can dream, can't I? We've all said that. 
haven't we? At some point, I can dream, can't I? You know, people say, yeah, whatever. But this exclamation usually has the tone of futility in it. And so the person making it has no faith that his dreams will come true, right? Oh, that's awesome, Sandy. That's what makes it happen. When you and someone else start talking about it and making it a reality, and won't it be nice when? Actually, he who dares dream and believe in his dreams is the creator to a great extent of his future. You would not be a normal average human being if you did not have hidden desires and so-called pipe dreams. While you may not confess them to anyone, you do build air castles on occasion. Seeing yourself doing something or going somewhere or having something and you take a certain joy just from imagining for the moment that these air castles are real. It's seldom, however, that you put the power of your own feeling and conviction behind your dreams. You've never had the faith that you could be converted into actual happenings if you took them seriously instead of fancifully. Oh, I never expect to do anything like this, a woman said to me once, who'd been daydreaming about a trip to Europe. But it's fun to imagine doing it anyway. When I assured her that she could go to Europe if she really wanted to do so, she laughed and said, I don't see how. I'd never have enough money to do that. Anybody here ever said that about anything? Sure, I'd love that car, but I can't afford it. I'd love to buy that. I'd love to live in that mansion, but I can't afford it. Anyone? Mm, yeah, we say it every day, don't you? And if you don't say it out loud, you're thinking it. In the back of your mind, you're thinking it. Yeah, that'd be nice, but... Mm -hmm. You certainly won't, as long as you continue to, with that negative thinking I pointed out. Every other statement you make about yourself is, I never expect, I never will have, and so on. What you're doing is instructing the creative power within not to do anything for you, to keep you from having enough money to do things, and you're getting just what you're practicing. It took her a little while to get into what she was doing to herself, and then she said, all right, from now on, I'm going to think positive thoughts, but I still can't see how I'm ever going to get to Europe. Leave that to your subconscious, to the power within, I advised. Just picture yourself making the trip to Europe and let the creative power work out the way you're going to get to go and the means. It sounds pretty screwy to me, she said, but I'll give it a try. You've got to have faith, I warned. You just can't go through the motions of picturing yourself in Europe without faith and ever get there. Okay, I'll give it everything I've got, she said, and we'll see what happens. Hold on. You're expressing doubt, I said. You're not going to see what happens. You're going to see it happen. I'll never get the hang of this kind of thinking, she laughed. Eight months later, I received a letter from this woman from Europe. But I didn't recognize her name until she identified herself. I'm here, she reported. It worked just as you said it would. Only I had to get married to do it. How wonderful, I thought, that something within brought her not only a trip to Europe, but a husband, too. When you start picturing good things coming your way, you may get more than you bargained for. Now, do you guys get the gist of that message in a big way? Then it's one thing to picture all this, okay? It's one thing to read this story. It's one thing to, to say the words, but you need to actually put faith into it. You need to say, yes, I do believe it. Doubting Thomas, go away. Okay? Doubting Thomas, go away. Oh, I love that. Going to the Bahamas, Bahamas for your 10-year anniversary. Love it. May 28th, 2.15, so is that your new story? It's May 28th, 2.15, and we're basking in the sun on the beaches of the Bahamas. Mmm. Ah, doesn't that feel wonderful? Start your mind pumping. And, you know, it's really important that you and your partner find something you want to work on together. And that you talk about it often, and you talk about it a lot, and all you need to talk about 
is being there. You don't need to talk about how that's going to happen. You simply need the trust that the universe will direct you, that it will bring to you everything you need to make that happen. Do you guys all believe that? Do you believe it? That if you dream it and you put your heart into it, and I mean your heart, that you don't need to know how it's going to happen. You don't need to think about it. You simply need to allow the universe to bring those ideas to you, and they will. It is so important that your partner is sharing with you. It comes so much faster, and it's so important that you share it here. Maggie says, I wrote in TNT on page 83 that I would go to Hawaii and Las Vegas, and I did. Didn't realize it. Look at that. So you went to Hawaii, you went to Las Vegas, and you said you were going to, and you forgot about it. But when you said it, you said it in your heart, and you believed it at the time. Right, Maggie? Because that's what Tools to Life does for you. In 2012. Isn't that amazing? So see, it's all about focusing on what you want and putting your heart into it and not worry about how it's going to get there. That's the hardest thing. Everybody wants to do, well, I got to work hard to get there. No, you have to work. You're going to have to work. I'm, I'd, I hate to tell you this. You're going to have to do something, but it will be inspired action and it will not be work. There will be things you love to do and you'll be so excited to do it. Oh, it will be amazing. There we go. Sandy says, my hubby and I believe our credit cards will be paid off in exactly two years. Okay, so Sandy, do you know how to write your story? It's June 6, 2016, and all of our credit cards are clear. We are debt free. In fact, why don't you throw some money in the bank, Sandy? The money will come from various sources as you offer the services that you offer. And your faith is so strong that you believe this money is in your possession. And you believe it so much that you can touch it with your hands. You can see it with your eyes. And you know that it's waiting transfer to you. Awesome. Awesome. Let's keep reading. Clarence Sanders, now 67, is on his way to his third fortune. Before he was 35, he had his first fortune. His colossal pipe dream of the famous Piggly Wiggly supermarket chain had paid off. Saunders maintains it's easy to think million dollar ideas once you gear your mind to it. My mind is pumping all the time, he declares, and I can never tell what the pump is going to bring up. But I just give the creative power free reign, and it comes up with something of value, time and time. Today, Saunders is launching his new chain grocery idea, which he calls the Food Electric. The store operates so automatically that the customer can collect her groceries herself, wrap them, and act as her own cashier. It eliminates the checkout crush, cuts overhead expenses, and enables the small staff to handle a tremendous volume says Saunders. I can handle a $2 million volume a year with only eight employees, whereas any other supermarket of the same size would employ at least 40, perhaps 65 people. I've made and lost millions in my life, but I'm on my way to my next million now. Gotta love that attitude, hey? How can you stop a man like that? Is your mind functioning on all cylinders at 67? Or will it be? It won't, unless you've trained it to operate. You are carrying a potential fortune around in your head at all times. Start your mind pumping, Saunders suggests, and you may strike oil. Pipe dreams, you say. Nothing like this could ever happen to me. Watch that negative thinking. You can't conceive of the possibilities within you once you give the creative power within an opportunity to be of service. Did the Wright brothers have a pipe dream when they pictured themselves building and flying the first airplane? Many unseeing people thought so and heaped ridicule upon them, but this didn't stop the Wrights. They had the courage and the faith to keep on dreaming and working in the face of skepticism and brought a new mode of travel to the world. So few of us have vision we cannot see beyond the present moment. We become so immersed in our current difficulties and problems that we can visualize no way out. 
Pipe dreaming is a way of escape into the future, a way of freeing yourself from the present and creating new opportunities and developments. I don't mean that you can sidestep present responsibilities and problems, but the cure for many of them lies in your future, as does your hope for self-betterment. Look forward, never backward, has been the admonition of wise men. They've known that the past can do nothing for you, but the future always holds promise if, in the words of Peter Ibbotson, you dream true. Hmm. Think about that. How great is your faith? And we're not going to make it through this whole chapter. In fact, I think we'll continue this. We have 14 minutes. I'm not sure how far we can get through here. There's quite a bit to the chapter, and I really don't want to get halfway through this story. Let's talk about creating that power and having a pipe dream. Let's talk about what that means and what you need to do to do that. How great is your faith that you can do this? Because without faith, it's not going to happen. If you are doubting Thomas, and we've all seen it, haven't we? We've all experienced it. Can you recognize? Here's a question for all of you. Can you recognize your own negative responses, your own um, doubting Thomases? Can you recognize when you've got it? Because many people don't recognize it. I see it in their speech. And it's, it's just so amazing when, you, when you're able to recognize that you are not 100% in that positive state of mind, that your faith is not as strong as you need it to be. All oh, Maggie keeps getting locked out. Breathe, Maggie. It's just technology, Maggie. Tamara says her faith is growing, and it's important that you practice. Sometimes we get in a mood when we don't want to practice. We don't want to play the games. You're having a bad day, and you're tired, and just the hell with it. I just don't feel like it. You know what? And I appreciate when you have those moments. And I'm going to tell you something. It's in those moments that you need to play those games more than ever. Do you guys agree with that? That it's in those moments when you feel desperation, when you feel depression, when you feel sadness, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like you just can't handle it anymore, then more than ever is when you need to play these games. And wouldn't it be nice if things were different? Wouldn't it be nice? If you're not playing the games, you're not making the changes you need to make. You're not growing, and we need to grow. Claudia says, I have abundant faith. Mm, and it's just practice, isn't it, Claudia? It's so easy to forget to practice. And I'm going to do my best to remind you every day to practice your faith in yourself. Your faith and your belief that anything you think of, you can create. So think good things. Don't think I can't do that. Don't think that I can never have that. That's way out of my league. That's way I have no idea how I'm ever going to be able to do that. Do you know at some level that you can be, do, or have anything that you want to be, do, or have? Do you know that at some level, even though you have not manifested it yet? Do you know it? I need to know that you know that, that you know, yes, you get that. It is possible. I haven't made it work yet, but I'm going to keep practicing because I know that I can be, do, or have anything I want, that all I have to do is think about it and put my heart into it and believe that I can have it. And the universe has no choice but to bring it to me. But if I doubt myself, then I'm going upstream. I'm paddling upstream. If I'm thinking negative thoughts, I'm paddling upstream. If I'm working too hard, I'm paddling upstream. I have to stop. I have to play the games. And if you're having a really bad day, Remember to reach out and get someone to help you play a game. Tamara says, I at times will have these great ideas and I get all excited and then I second guess if it was a good idea or not. 
And that's what happens. And so what you want to do is just allow the great ideas, Tamara. Oh, God, that's a great idea. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, that's a great idea. Just say yes. Yes. Don't second guess that it was a good idea. Those are all great ideas. They're great ideas. I may or may not act on it right now, but it's a great idea. That idea might bring me more ideas. Oh, yes, I love great ideas. I love ideas. I have so many ideas flow in and out of my mind all day that, I mean, I can't possibly act on all of them, but just go with your gut. Just go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. It doesn't mean you have to do anything about the idea. The universe will bring your plan of action to you. Allow the ideas to flow. Act on it when it feels right. Just go and remember, okay? And I, and I can't remember who it was that I saw on a video. I think it was one of the, on Oprah's uh, talks. But he was talking about just taking that path. Just whatever path you decide to go on is the right path. Period. Once you make a decision... End of. And if you're in the habit of second-guessing yourself, stop. Just say, this is where I'm going. And wherever I'm going is the right direction because once you take that path, it's the right path. If you second-guess yourself, then you're on another path. Do you get that? So once you make a decision, don't say, well, I don't know if I made the right decision. Just keep making decisions. If you made a decision and something isn't going right or it doesn't feel right, make a different decision. Just turn the corner and keep turning a corner and keep making another decision, taking action, picturing your dream. So when you second guess yourself, stop for a moment, close your eyes and picture your dream. Picture that pipe dream. I know it's a bit early today. It is Friday, though. I want you guys to go out today feeling amazing. I found a little Lori Granger video that's only about eight minutes. And I thought we would play that one today. Does that sound good? That sound like a plan, guys? It's just let me find it here. It's called uh, sitting, a walk on the beach. I thought Claudia would love this one. She can have a walk on the beach. And okay, oh no, there it is. There, a walk on the beach. So it's only about eight minutes long. Uh, sit back, relax with Lori, just follow the instructions, and I'll meet you guys back here in eight minutes. Welcome to the doorway of your vortex. We are extremely pleased that you've made the decision to be here. Breathe in. Breathe out. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creation and for the purpose of aligning with who you really are. Breathe in. Breathe out. We want you to know that as you relax and breathe and focus softly upon the words that we are offering to you here, You are allowing the gentle tuning of your vibration to the frequency of your source who is inside the vortex. Breathe in. Well, that was lovely. Seemed to end a little abruptly there. However, welcome back. Yeah, I bet you could, Claudia. I bet your feet were feeling that sand, eh? You could feel that water pulling away from your toes. You could feel your toes squishing in the sand. I know you could. <laughs> Oh, you guys are amazing. I wish for you an awesome weekend. And Sandy, I have something just for you, okay? I bought, got something here just for you. Well, let me think. There's two songs I want to play. Do I want to play that one? It is Friday, and we're going to... I can't find it. There it is. This is just for Sandy. You guys have yourselves an amazing weekend. I love you guys. Be well.